Many people make fun of what ChatGPT and others cannot do. How quickly will AI improve? You'll get my answer to this question in this episode. Here, I'm only looking at performance. We'll consider ethics, dangers and consequences of AI in other episodes. On this channel, I guide you on how to future-proof yourself and your business. Feel free to ask your questions and strategies for the future in the comments. How will the performance of artificial intelligence develop over time? Tim Urban once visualized this. I've adapted it here for our purposes. As we've often experienced in recent years, people have difficulties in imagining exponential developments. We generally assume that things develop linearly. The same is true for AI. For over 70 years, most people have only heard about AI and perhaps understood that when they shop on Amazon, watch videos on Netflix or use Facebook, Instagram or LinkedIn, simple forms of AI are at work. This is artificial narrow intelligence. Such AI is applied for the analysis of CT images, voice recognition, face recognition, object recognition, chatbot, Siri, Alexa, intelligent image editing and so on. Artificial narrow intelligence is always a specialist. It can only do this one thing. The general public believes that we're currently at the level of the village fool who can merely parrot everything. But what is actually happening is that the performance and the quality of AI systems are increasing exponentially. As always with such developments, it starts very slowly and imperceptibly and remains far below our expectations. That's why we were so disappointed for decades about the seemingly low practical relevance of AI. Then, however, the advances become faster and faster. German engineer Google Hartmut Neven once said that with doubly exponential growth, it is like this. It looks like nothing is happening and then, oops, you're in a different world. For the nerds, doubly exponential means that the exponent has another exponent. As mentioned, most people intuitively believe that we are currently at the level of the village fool at best. But even that is more than wrong. If we only look at the ability to answer general knowledge questions, I assume that there is currently no single person on the planet who can answer questions as broadly and deeply and pass all tests without explicit preparation like GPTs. So they are already at least at the level of a very educated person. Whole teams of scientists even confirm sparks of artificial intelligence in GPT-4. What is crucial? It will not take decades again for AI to reach the level of intelligence of Stephen Hawking or Albert Einstein. Rather, it will likely be a matter of just a few years. Ray Kurzweil, who has often been astonishingly correct with his assumptions, he said that the point in time at which AI is as smart as all humans combined is the year 2029. This is artificial general intelligence. And he said this in 2014, long before the development of transformer models that are now astonishing people everywhere. Then, probably a short time later, AI will be cognitively much stronger than all humans combined. Then we will have artificial superintelligence. At that point, we will face the great challenge of somehow managing to remain the boss of AI, so that AI does what humans want. What are the factors that play a role in the speed of development of AI? First, the increase in performance of AI chips. The repurposed graphics chips from NVIDIA or the specialized chips like Tesla's Dojo chips for autonomous driving are constantly increasing in power at a rapid pace. According to the aforementioned Nevin, Nevin's law was named for quantum computers, stating that the performance of quantum computers will increase at a doubly exponential rate. We won't have quantum computers in our laptops, but quantum computers are already being used in clouds today. For example, BASF is developing new materials with quantum computers. Second, the amount of data. It will grow to unimaginable levels because we will use many billions and soon trillions of sensors, which include cameras, thermometers, smell sensors, radar, lidar, and so on. Third, networking of knowledge systems. Through APIs or data and programming interfaces, the AI will be able to tap into almost every single solid source of knowledge, such as the mathematics platform Wolfram Alpha, and soon they will have access to all human knowledge. 4. The investment. Recently, someone commented that in three years, no one will be talking about ChatGPT anymore. Sorry, AI isn't going away, as many wish. 
because they fear the unknown. Investments are increasing dramatically worldwide. 5. Research AI helps to research AI. Of course, the number of publications is growing enormously. Unfortunately, we in Europe are already lagging behind. At least in terms of the number of scientific publications, China is by far the world leader. And most importantly, number 6. AI creates AI. This is probably the most underestimated factor. And again, it's about an exponential development that people find difficult to comprehend. The better AI becomes, the better and faster they will be able to create the next generation of AI. Bear in mind, I'm only speaking here about the technological development. Yes, we need to make sure that the data, for example, is of high quality and is as truthful as possible. I've long advocated intensively for truth technologies to heal fake news, disinformation and misinformation. With AI, we can make the world of information and news really more trustworthy again. We need to make sure that bad people, malicious people, can do as little damage as possible with AI. I am generally against a lot of regulation and especially against unnecessary regulation. But we need to regulate AI. And as quickly as possible. In light of this, it is simply short-sighted to make fun of the current shortcomings of AI systems. This is whistling in the dark. AI is being downplayed because people don't want to face the truth. Now what? As an entrepreneur or employee, you need a future strategy that includes an AI strategy. It's often been said, it's not AI that will destroy your job or your company, but people who make productive use of AI. Even if you're older, you will hardly make it into retirement without using AI in your company, or at least allowing it to be used. As an entrepreneur, it would be irresponsible to want to hand over your company or sell your company at some point without it being set up for the AI era. Without an AI strategy, no company will be able to last long and no employee will really be able to be an excellent professional. AI will develop faster than most people can imagine, as I've shown here. Because you cannot keep up with everything, you need a future strategy, including an AI strategy. AI will ultimately change everything in your business, every product, service, process and project. AI is the strategic topic for future-proof companies now. Joy for the future heals fear of the future. People who need to be pushed into the future, who need to be picked up and enticed, who want to ignore AI, will find it difficult professionally and entrepreneurially. Be aware of the immense benefits AI will have for improving the quality of life on this planet and for your success. I know it's anything but easy, but please learn to look forward to the future with AI. Without a positive vision of the future, you cannot lead. Otherwise, everyone in your company will imagine their own vision of the future. And with all the many fears of the future, that's likely to be a negative picture and depressing picture. Then your company is weak. Only with a positive, attractive and credible vision of the future can you lead your employees and colleagues. So what is leadership? To lead is to cause a movement. Movement needs direction. Direction needs a goal. This is an image of the future. Here you will find a playlist with more episodes with my assumptions about the future of artificial intelligence. How much time is left until you not only have to develop your AI strategy, but also to implement it? None. Zero. The time to act is now. We're happy to support you in this. We developed the first AI-based future strategies with our clients almost 20 years ago. Yes, we do this now also for small businesses. And as always, have a bright future.